Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, I'm out here in my shop this morning, and uh, got this holster here I made, and uh, I just uh, put some tan coat on it and oiled it, and um, I think I'm going to put a little dye on it, and uh, I'm going to try this EcoFlow. It's a timber brown uh, dye. It's a water-based dye. And uh, talking about dye, y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I use a lot of Feebins dyes and uh, oil-based. They're pro-dye. But I uh, started using some of this here, and I kind of like this dye here. For one reason, it's not really strong. Um, if you're not in a well-ventilated area, that other dye can be pretty strong and uh, so I've been using some of this and I kind of like this dye seems like it does pretty good it doesn't have all that you no know, real strong smell of the uh, Feebins, uh Pro dye I'm not really sure how good this uh, dye is going to take with this uh, tan coat on it but I believe it should penetrate on through and if it's a resiline uh, I feel like uh, I probably have a lot of trouble, but we're just gonna let let it sit on here and hopefully it'll soak on in. I could have dyed it to begin with, but I thought about maybe just leaving it natural. But after I made it, I said, "Man, I don't know. Not really liking the way it's looking," and. Uh, So I said, well, I'll go ahead and put some dye on it. It ain't going to hurt anything. It might get my stitching, y'all. got this white stitching. It might get my stitching a little bit dark. That'd be all right. You can see I put some copper rivets on this one right here. Um, Y'all let me know what kind of a dye y'all like using. I use all different type color dyes. And uh, so I really don't have one particular color I like using. I use all of them. But there is some dye that I use more than others, seem like. Like a dark brown, seem like I use that a lot. Uh, golden brown, I use that a lot. And some of these colors are really close to each other, like a light brown and this timber brown and golden brown. All of those going to be real close to, you know, the same color. Put a little dye in here, get that. Recording on my phone, y'all, today. It's the first time I ever recorded. I just stuck it over here in my vice, so it looks a little funny. The position of it, I just thought I'd just make a video with my phone. I've never done that before. Uh, well, I have, but not in here, I don't think. I just don't normally use my telephone to uh, record anything. But I thought I'd just bring y'all along real quick before my day gets started here. Not sure what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I'm sure I'll be making some knife sheaths. But I thought I'd go ahead and try to uh, get this holster here uh, dyed before I got started for today and let it dry. Since this is a uh, water based dye, it'll take a while, y'all, for this leather to uh, dry there. And after it dries, I'll go ahead and put another uh, layer of tan coat over it. Sounds like it's working pretty good right now. 
it's, I made this for myself. It's not no customers, it's mine. So it's one of them things that don't make me uh, be honest with you, holsters. Man, I just make it for myself. Neat, like I said, need something for myself. I make it for myself most time. I have made a few uh, other than mine, but the color on this dial, y'all. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It may turn out. A little spotchy, but that'll be all right. It's still, it's still gonna look real good if even if it does. I think what I'll do is put a uh, coat of oil on it too, just to kind of maybe try to even out that color a little bit maybe. On the inside here I put a layer, a little thin layer, about two to three ounce leather to cover up these uh, copper rivets I put in there so it wouldn't be against my you know my tool when I install it one thing about oil based dye y'all whenever you're using that it does not take all this wiping I normally like to use a sponge to uh, use this water-based dye, but since I'm having to get any little crevices and in between my belt loop and all that, I'm just using this uh, dauber right here. That works good getting down inside, down in here where a sponge have trouble getting down in there. So. And like this little wool dauber is doing pretty good though. Coating it pretty good. I say water based dye, it takes, I don't know, I'm not going to say it takes more, but it's more rubbing involved. Plus, like I said, I got this tan coat on here already, so the leather's not going to accept that dye the same way, but it will. That's the thing I like about tan coat, y'all, is. You can put it on something and it kind of protect you from the dye that's left on it. You know, a lot of people may not even put no kind of top coat on their uh, leather. And that's fine. You don't have to. But uh, I like putting some on there just to kind of help seal it a little bit. Keep that dye, you know, from getting on your clothes or something like that. A lot of people like using resiline or some kind of a top coat like that. But, you know. I don't know. I do use it sometimes, but it really depends on what, what, what I'm trying to do. But the, the thing I like about tan coat is once you put it on, it's not like it's going to chip off anything. It's not going to be uh, where your oil, if you want to oil it, you can still put your oil on your uh, leather and it'll still go through. Well, your resin is a resist. So, you know, if you got any rain and stuff like that, a lot of water, stuff like that, you know, um, you know, it's, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to be not as good as your resin. Your resin going to resist a lot better. But I, it don't matter. If, now, if you get submerged your leather in water, even if you got resin on it, it's still going to go, you know, through the leather. It'll take a little bit longer, but it will go through. Uh, but the tan coat. Like I say, you can, uh, you can uh, put it on there, and down the road, you want to put you some leather conditioner on there, mink oil, uh, whatever you want to put on it, any kind of oil you want to put on it, it's going to go right through, and uh, 
Let me see here. I'm going to wipe this down now. I'll show y'all what that looks like. Y'all can see that right there. Uh, it coated it pretty good. It's a little splotchy on the back side and on the front a little bit, but it does not look too bad in my opinion. Uh, we'll see how it looks when put this oil on here. And I'm just doing this, maybe just kind of even out the color a little bit more in that dye. It may may not work, but it's not going. It's not going to hurt it, y'all. Putting this oil on, it's going to help it for anything. Just going to rub that in good, and then we'll let it dry. And uh, I'll come back and I put that clear coat on it, and I'll let y'all see how it turns out there. will say anytime you put water on and something like that it's going to soften this leather up some so I'll make sure it gets the uh, opportunity to dry completely let it harden back up a little bit shouldn't lose its uh, shape or anything Alright y'all, I uh, got it finished. I uh, got my tan coat on it and uh, I rubbed me some beeswax leather conditioner into it and buffed it off there. Let me just show you how it turned out. I think it turned out real nice. Got a uh, nice light brown color to it now. And I don't know if I showed y'all that. I got my initials right there. I stepped on the side of it right there. Uh, this holster here uh, lasts me a long time and uh, should get a lot of use out of it. And uh, that's a good thing about dye, y'all. Uh, you can always go back on a piece of leather, you know, that you've done or whatever. And if you don't like it the way it looks, you know, you can put dye on it. Or if you want dark, you can add some darker dye uh, over time. But leather over time is going to have a, you know, a darker patina to it anyway. So this here over time, uh, darkened down with use and stuff like that. But I think it looks a lot better now than just that regular uh, leather and tan coat. A lot of people like that, you know, I just, uh, I don't know, I just can't, I, I like a little color to my leather, I, I just think it looks uh, better, and uh, I just want to bring y'all along today to show you that, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always friends, my frame in the years, y'all have a blessed day, we'll see you later, bye bye.